Scott Myers. I'm Vice President of Enterprise Bank and I'm here with Tracy LaFleur, who's the Branch Service Manager in Fitchburg. We're here for week nine of our 20 weeks of giving campaign. And this week, you folks voted for the Sizer School. I have a couple of folks here from the Sizer School. Hi, I'm Maria Vasquez, uh, Communications Student Recruitment Coordinator. And Janet O'Hara, Associate Director of Ex Executive Operations. The Sizer School is an essential charter school, and it, you couldn't have picked a better winner this week for the $1,000 check, in my opinion. And it's my pleasure on behalf of Enterprise Bank to provide you with this $1,000. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for all you do. The mission of Sizer School is to teach our students to think about themselves and others, to care for themselves and the community around them, and then to act creatively and responsibly. We are a truly diverse school. Our students right now come from 28 different cities and towns, and we are truly inclusive as well. So when a student applies, they don't have to meet a certain academic or financial or any kind of criteria. They just have to go through the lottery, and then once they do, if they get selected for a seat, they're included. Mm -hmm. So we are truly an inclusive and diverse school that teaches our students to go out into the world and to think, care, and act. Not just about their education, but about their lives in general. Mm -hmm. At Sizer School, we have a foundation, and our foundation is responsible for all the fundraising that we do. Our fundraising is used in a variety of different ways. Not only do we support kids academically, maybe a field trip they, they otherwise couldn't afford to attend, or sports that they want to participate in but they can't afford the sports fees. Um, not only do we help kids financially, but we also help the academic program so that teachers could be more diverse and more inclusive of the things that they want to do that a standard school budget wouldn't allow them to do. In addition, our foundation also cares for the building. This was a, a, a gift and we need to care for it for the long term. So the foundation is very helpful in that and this thousand dollar check from Enterprise will certainly support those endeavors. In five years, we're hoping that we will be able to um, continue to fill the school. Right now, between grades 7 and 12, we have 400 seats. It's not a big school, but we do want to make sure that we are constantly able to keep it full so that the students who are interested in getting this particular brand of education can have that opportunity available to them. Um, we're also hoping to continue to be as diverse as we are and to be as inclusive as we are so that we can continue again to give students and families this type of education that they may or may not be able to get otherwise. I think the rigor of this school is really important too. Um, right now we're about 96% of our students graduate and get accepted into colleges or, or the field of their choice. And I think our goal is to ultimately ensure that 100% of our children can graduate and go into colleges um, of their choice. And I think we want to make sure that our rigor is always high enough to be able to, to reach those goals for all of our kids. I think that we often look to the community to become involved in our school in a variety of different ways. Not only do we appreciate people who can come in and volunteer in the classroom um, to participate in our garden projects, to attend field trips and that type of thing, um, even broader than that, and I think all schools look for this and, and we don't know how to ask. We want people to really encourage students to understand how important education is. It is simply not the ability to just get the state requirement and graduate. Education is something they have to understand is a lifelong endeavor. It is not just K through 12 and possibly college. Every day we learn something new and I think if we can really encourage kids to understand that learning is a wonderful thing, learning is a forever thing, then I think that um, that, that kind of volunteerism really supports every school and we'd like to see more of that happen. The other thing that we would like to ask of the community is for support, supporting us as a charter school. We recognize that the school is not for everybody and we're okay with that. We know that if a student goes to a different school, if they were to leave here and go to a different school and that's what they need to fulfill their academic and even their social needs, then we want that for them because we just want every student to have the opportunity to have the best education available to them. We are asking for the same support for us. We are a free public school just like other free public schools. We just happen to be smaller. And because we're smaller and because we have the foundation, we can provide students with additional things that they may not be able to get in district schools. Every child 
has different needs and different requirements and some kids get bullied and teased and some kids look a little different and some kids um, are academically challenged and some kids are, are above the board academically. All of those kids, every, even the normal average everyday student, has the right to find the place where they fit in the best. And again, Sizer may not be that answer, but they're, they have the opportunity to look everywhere for those fits and we would encourage every parent to help their children find a school that's going to meet their academic needs.